Today's video is a super simple anxiety hack. I get loads of really nice feedback about the anxiety hack, so here's a new one. This one is flip the feeling. And the idea here is if you, or someone you're supporting or care for, is worried about something upcoming, to think about how we can turn around the feeling and view it through a different lens about the upcoming event or thing or whatever. So for example, if we're feeling scared about doing something, if we can try and let go a little bit of the negative feeling of scared, that's one of our difficult feelings that's hard to manage, and instead try and reframe that as brave, um, and, and look at it through that lens, then that can help us to think about how we can best prepare for the thing that's upcoming and feel a little bit pride in ourselves for trying to manage it too. So the example for this was shared with me um, by someone in my network, so thank you, um, and her example was that she was going to go caving and she was really scared. She was worried about the confined spaces and how she was going to feel down there in the dark and there were lots of different anxieties about this and actually kind of, she kind of stood back and she went actually this is really brave I am tackling head-on something that I'm really scared about that's so brave of me and she was able to recast that feeling reframe it and see it through a different lens and sometimes I think that can really help us to just take that tricky negative feeling and turn it on its head and think what's another way of looking at this so questions you can ask yourself or you can ask the person that you're supporting um, would look like how else might this be viewed? How else can we look at this? Um, if a friend was tackling something similar, what would you say to them? What advice or guidance would you would you give them? Or how would you feel about them doing this thing? Um, or what would be a more positive feeling um, that we can associate uh, with, with what you're doing? And the other thing that can be helpful to do is afterwards to reflect back on the thing that scared you if you ran towards it and you did it anyway and you were brave, actually to stop and to celebrate that, to mark that success. Even if it's a tiny success, to mark that and celebrate it is really important. Okay, uh, take care, be kind to yourself, stay safe, and leave comments down below, and please subscribe. New videos every Tuesday and Friday. Bye.